This PowerPoint is on metric relations in a right triangle. First, we just need to go over a few things. We've looked at similar and congruent triangles, and they each had three rules. Triangles have three sides, three vertices. Usually rules for triangles, if it helps, come in threes. So we'll keep that in mind as we talk about these, this new metric relations um, unit that we're going to be discussing. So first here is a right triangle. So you can tell because you have the um, squares here. So this here means that the whole ABC is a right triangle. I'm just going to add a few things to it. First, I want you to remember that even when you're using um, Pythagorean's theorem, you have legs. Okay, so this is one leg and this is the other leg. So we'll call this the hypotenuse, okay? This line that I've added here is called an altitude. Now, how do you know that it's an altitude? First, it's a right triangle. And second, this line here is perpendicular to the hypotenuse. So we call this an altitude. You could also call this the height, but for the sake of this uh, chapter, we'll call it altitude. And don't forget that this here is the hypotenuse. Okay, so this is your right triangle. It's very important, though, that you, before we move on, that you understand the pieces of the right triangle. So leg, leg, hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle, and altitude. So the point of this altitude, and going back to the similar triangles that we have discussed, this altitude creates three similar triangles, okay? So in this case, you have uh, ABC, um, ABD, and BDC that are all similar by one of the three rules that we have looked at in the last chapter. Because they are similar, we are going to look at certain proportions that will help you solve for every side of a triangle. But first, to make things a little bit easier for you, I'm going to just label these sides that are very important to us, okay? So we have two legs. I'm going to name this one A and this one B. We have the altitude. I'm going to name it H. And then you'll notice that the altitude cuts the hypotenuse in two. Listen carefully it does not cut the hypotenuse into two equal lengths. This side is a different length from this side, okay? It is not a midpoint. So this side we're gonna call M, and this side we're gonna call N. And together, M and N make up the hypotenuse, okay? I'm just labeling this for um, rule purposes. So why is the altitude so important? Well, remember I said that the altitude creates three similar triangles, but more importantly, it also creates three rules that are kind of cool because you can actually solve for every single side of the triangle using these three rules, depending on what you know and what you're given. Okay, so in this case, um, that's why I... I wanted it to be very important that you label your legs, your hypotenuse, and your altitude. Again, triangles, rule of three. So I'm going to give you three important rules and um, proportions. So here's the first rule, okay? This is the rule that you use whenever you have or you need uh, the legs, okay? So this has to do with strictly the legs, which you should remember is this side here and this side here. Okay, um, relabeling them, the legs are A and B, the hypotenuse is H, one side of the hypotenuse is M, the other side is N, and then you have the whole hypotenuse, okay? So using these letters, this is the rule. With leg A, M over A is equal to A over the hypotenuse. So that's the first, like, rule. If you're looking at leg B, so if you're focusing on the second leg, it's N over B is equal to B over the hypotenuse. Now, what does this mean? How does this help you? What do we do? You need to whip out first your knowledge of proportions, but also it would be amazing if you were great at cross multiplication because this will help you a lot in this unit. So here's an example. So here is a triangle. I give you leg A and I give you the whole hypotenuse. I'm asking you to find this side, also known as M. So first identify the sides you have. So you have the hypotenuse and you have leg A. 
the side that you need is AD or M. So you need to pick the right proportion. I'm going to give you three, but you obviously only know one now, so it's this one. M over A is equal to A over the hypotenuse. You just have to fill in all the blanks. So you don't know M because that's what you're looking for. You know what A is. It's 8. And you have your hypotenuse, which is 10. So solving this, solving for M, you cross multiply. You would just do 8 times 8, which is 64, and then M times 10, which is just 10M. And then you would divide both sides by 10, and you get that AD, or M, is 6.4 centimeters. And that's it. It's done. If we're looking at the other leg, meaning leg B, here is an example of using that rule. So here's a triangle, and I've given you M and N, and I want you to solve for leg B. So you have M, you have N, but notice that you also have the whole hypotenuse, right? Because if you do 9 plus 4, you get 13, which is the whole one. Um, identify leg B, and you pick the right proportion. So N over B is equal to B over the hypotenuse. And you just plug in what you know. So here's where things might get a little bit tricky. So you're like, okay, I have side N, it's 4. I have the hypotenuse is 13. But now I have two Bs. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Don't worry. B times b is b squared, and 4 times 13 is 52. And so to get rid of this squared here, you just square root both sides. And you get that bc, or b, is 7.21 centimeters. Now that you are great with the first rule, let's look at the second rule. Okay, The second rule is, to be honest, the most common rule that you will see when you are dealing with metric relations. And the sides that it deals with are the hypotenuse and the altitude. So here is the um, labeling of the sides again. The rule is that M over H is equal to H over N over like this side of the hypotenuse over the altitude is equal to the altitude over this side of the hypotenuse. It's honestly for me the easiest proportion of all, but here's an example. So here is your um, right triangle. I've given you M and N and I want you to find the hypotenuse. So, uh, sorry, the altitude, not the hypotenuse. I want you to find the altitude. You have the hypotenuse. Okay, so you need the altitude. We're going to pick the proportion that deals with M and N and the hypot uh, M and N and the altitude. Sorry. So, in this case, we're going to use M uh, and M over H is equal to H over M. And then we're just going to plug in what we know. So we know M it's eight, and we know N it's three. Now again, kind of like the last example, you're like, oh, what do I do? I have these H's here, um, two unknowns. Actually, not two unknowns. They are the same. So when we cross multiply, we actually get h squared. And if we do 8 times 3, we get 24. So to solve for h or bd, um, you just square root both sides. And you get that bd is equal to or approximately equal to 4.9 centimeters. So that's rule number two. And the last rule, um, labeling the sides again, in words, the product of the length of the hypotenuse and its altitude is equal to the product of the lengths of the legs. In letter speak, altitude times hypotenuse is equal to legs times legs. Okay? H times hypotenuse is equal to A times B. So here's an example. I haven't given you anything else except for the legs and the hypotenuse. Okay, so you have the legs, you have the hypotenuse, you don't know what AD is, you don't know what DC is, you don't know what M and N is, you just know leg A, leg B, and the hypotenuse. And I would like you to find the altitude. So identifying what we're given and identifying what we need, we can pick the right proportion. So we don't have M and N, so we can't use rule 1 and 2. We can only use rule 3. Rule 3 states that H times hypotenuse is equal to A times B. Plugging in what we know, we know that the hypotenuse is 10, we don't know what H is, and we know that A is 8 and B is 6.25. So in this case, you're going to multiply this side, and here you get 10H, and then you're going to divide both sides by 10. And you get that 8 times 6.25 is 50, and if you divide both sides by 10, you get 5. So BD, or our altitude H, is five centimeters. 
not all right triangles will be given to you like this with the same labels. So for example, you're not always going to get A, B, C, D. You know what I mean? You're not going to always get this. But what will you what you will get, sorry, is that you'll have an altitude. And so you can label this A, B, M, N, H, and the hypotenuse. That's what you can label. And I really strongly suggest that you do. Also keep in mind that sometimes the triangle is not going to be given to you like this. Like sometimes it's going to be given to you like flipped over and you're going to be a little bit confused. Don't be shy. Flip your triangle to look like this where like the um, the right triangle is like sticking up here. The right angle is sticking up here. Um, and label your A, B, uh, M, N, and H hypotenuse sides. So just to recap. Here's your right triangle. You have leg A, leg B, H, M, N, and remember that the whole thing down here is the hypotenuse. So I've labeled out all the rules for you here. Um, here are the rules, the first two, the first two which are technically the same except with a different leg. Um, so M over A is equal to A over the hypotenuse, or N over B is equal to B over the hypotenuse. This depends on basically what leg you're looking at. But your hint here is when you're given or you need to find one of the two legs, the hypotenuse, you'll notice, is in both proportions, and the legs are one of the crosses in the multiplication. So you'll see this is A across, this is B across. When you're given A, it's M, and when you're given B, it's N, but you'll always have the hypotenuse. The second rule was the one that dealt with the legs, or sorry, not the legs, but the hypotenuse and the altitude. So the altitude is a star here. It is one of the crosses in the multiplication. You're also utilizing the split segments of the hypotenuse, M and N. And finally, the last thing that we looked at was um, the hypotenuse altitude and legs had nothing to do with M and N, the only proportion that had nothing to do with M and N. Um, here, your hint is that the legs multiplied together needs to equal to the hypotenuse and the altitude together. This is basically what you use when you have all of these things except for one. So if you have everything except for H, you use this one. If you have everything except for the hypotenuse, you use this one and so on. And you just solve for whatever is missing. So now I want you to do it yourself. So here is a right triangle. Notice how I told you like it's weird, right? I flipped it. So in this case, you can make the right angle come up. I've given you an altitude though. You do know the legs. You do know M and N. So make sure to label. I want you to find the measure of BD. So basically what is um, M and CB, which in this case is leg A. And I want you to also realize that Unless I tell you use metric relations, notice that these are all right triangles. Use Pythagorean if you have to. Now, please try this on your own. Pause it, whatever you need to do, but the answers are going to be on the next slide. So in this case, um, I'm going to strictly use Pythag, okay, to find AD first. Um, so in this case, Keeping in mind, there are several different ways that you could have done this question. Several, several different ways, but this is how I did it. I found AD first by using Pythag. So basically I did um, uh, C squared minus B squared is equal to A squared, and I found that this was 6.24. Now that I have this, I can easily find um, BD by using rule 2, where um, leg, or no, sorry, M over uh, altitude is equal to altitude over M. And so 6.24 over 5 is equal to 5 over BD cross multiply. 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 6.24. I get that BD is 4. Now that I know that BD is 4, there are several different ways that I can find CB. You could use Pythag. You could use rule 1. So in this case, I'm using rule 1 because 6.24 plus 4 gives me the whole hypotenuse. So I'm doing um, basically... M over A is equal to A over the hypotenuse. So in this case, it's CB squared, because I'm cross-multiplying, is equal to 4 times 10.24, which is 40.96, and I get that CB is 6.4. Again, totally could use Pythag or any other of the proportions given, depending on the sides that you have. And that is the end of 3.3 .3 metric relations, and that is the complete end of chapter 3 on similarities and isometries. Next, we're going to talk about trigonometry.